Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, Kronos here. Sorry I didn't have an update last week or even uh, any project to show you guys. I was really busy with schoolwork, but I'm back. Should be able to do some more mods and stuff to show you guys. Um, so we're going to jump right into a uh, project update for the uh, commission I've got going on. Uh, this is the test plunger I built a couple weeks back. Uh, two weeks I think. And this is a rainbow catch that I um, received from Phoenix the Modder. Uh, he's on YouTube, he's also on the forums and stuff, and so I'll have links to all that stuff. Uh, but he does really great commissions for homemade-esque kind of things. Um, so he cut this out of quarter polycarb for me, and it fits this uh, test plunge too I built really well. It should be oriented like this in the blaster. Um, and so yeah, so I'm really excited to get this. I'm gonna order the rest of the stuff and keep sending you guys uh, project updates because I'm really excited to be working on this mission. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, so now moving on from there, um, we've got another blaster to show you guys. This is a Star Wars bowcaster. Um, oh my table. Uh, that my friend picked up, uh, and thank God it'd be pretty good. It's not. It's actually really bad. Um, there's a lot of inefficiencies with vinyl tubing, even though it's a springer. Like that. Uh, sealed's not that great, as you can see. Uh, but that's, just, I was gonna improve the seal, but I actually couldn't because it's a sealed plunger tube that you can't really get into without boiling it. I just didn't want to put that much effort into a blush that's not that great, anyways. Uh, and besides, with the rebarreling um, and air strip removal, it was actually not performing too poorly. So it's basically a miniature pistol now, kind of with a stock. I'm just debating whether to keep that or not. I think it's a little bit comfy, kind of just stretched your arm on like this. But it's obviously not really comfy to like that. So we're going to go out and fire it in the hallway now and uh, show you guys how it's performing. All right, guys, so it has a dart holder here on the side. I'm just going to give you a close-up of the uh, actual blaster itself. Let's get the sticker here. And, yeah, so it, um, I'm going to be firing first off these uh, red suction cup tip darts that come with it. See how it's doing. So you see it's got a pretty good amount of power. It's basically, like I said, the uh, same size as a Maverick plunger rod, um, plunger tube, except that it's in uh, it's direct instead of indirect plunger system. Better. I'm gonna fire off a tagger now. Whistler. Uh, so yeah, I'll fire another one of those later because I ended up hitting my wall there. Here's an elite dart. I'm gonna fire streamline now. So you see, this has a pretty good amount of power. Um, I'm going to fire off another Whistler because the last one didn't do too well. It's gonna be a long firing segment. I apologize, guys. Pretty good amount of power, as you can see, even though it's a pretty wimpy spring and uh, you know, it's a great uh, plunger volume and stuff like that. Here's a, an elite dart. You see, it's a pretty good speed. Um, I'm gonna throw a slug in here now. We're gonna move towards the homemade end of darts. So here's a slug. It has a lot of force. Another slug coming up. There we go. And I made some domes. These are probably not even close to war legal domes. Uh, just because of the way I made them. I made them with washers as opposed to like uh, BB weights or something like that. And there's maybe a little bit of exposed metal in the Oculus heads aren't very clean and there's air bubbles. So these probably aren't exactly 100% war legal at all. But still, these are similar white foam to the ones that are on my slugs now. But again, those were slugs that I bought from somebody else. There you go, guys. That's it firing. Uh, I'm not gonna fire. Oh, yep, lantern dart. Here we go. I just got these one shot. So I'm gonna fire one of Green orange lantern darts like this. Not as much powerful as the previous dart. But yeah, so we're gonna go wrap it up, and I have one more uh, announcement to make. All right, so that might have been my longest firing segment of all time. Uh, it's definitely up there. But anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. I do have one more announcement to make. As I said, 
Uh, there's a Nerf channel starting coming up called uh, JK Nerf. I uh, made some pretty good videos so far. Um, there's the one that the two he told me to highlight um, were uh, there's one he made a couple weeks ago called Problems in Nerf, and it kind of goes through like in a pretty humorous way the problems in the Nerf community, such as you know kids who think they're good monitors and stuff, and just general problems with jams and stuff. So it's a pretty funny video. And he also um, wanted me to highlight this video uh, about this custom homemade blaster unit. So uh, I'm going to have links up to both of those on the screen and I'll link to his channel in the description. And so yeah guys, so check him out. And subscribe, like, and comment on his videos as well as mine too, which brings us into the wrap-up segment. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, you know, keep the comments coming, keep, com keep the questions coming. Uh, keep subscribing, guys. I really appreciate your support. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching, and have a good day wherever you are in the world.